What is hypertension? Hypertension, another name for high blood pressure, is often called a silent killer. This is because you can have hypertension without even knowing it, as it often presents with no symptoms. When blood pressure is uncontrolled for a long time, it significantly increases your risk of having a heart attack, stroke and other life-threatening conditions. A normal blood pressure reading is defined as falling below 120 per 80 millimeters of mercury. If you have high blood pressure, your doctor may prescribe treatment options including lifestyle changes and medication supplements. What causes high blood pressure? High blood pressure can have a variety of causes including genetics, poor diet, lack of exercise, stress, alcohol and certain medications. Our risk also increases with age. As you get older, your artery walls lose their elasticity. If you have high blood pressure from unknown causes, it's called essential or primary hypertension. Secondary hypertension occurs if your hypertension is caused by a medical condition such as kidney disease. Your doctor may encourage you to change your diet. The American Heart Association endorses the DASH diet, which stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. The DASH diet is rich in vegetables, fruits, whole grains and lean source of protein. And low in saturated fats, trans fats, added sugar and sodium. You should also reduce your caffeine and alcohol intake. Why do I need to eat less sodium? Sodium causes your blood to retain fluids. This increases the volume of your blood and the pressure in your blood vessels. It's believed that reducing sodium intake can lower blood pressure in certain people. Most healthy people should limit their sodium intake to 2300 mg or less per day. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes or chronic kidney disease, you should not eat more than 1500 mg of sodium per day. Why should I eat more potassium? Potassium is an important mineral for good health. It also helps lessen the effect of sodium in your body. Eating enough potassium can help control your blood pressure. The average adult should consume about 4700 micrograms of potassium per day. Food that are rich in potassium include white beans, white potatoes, avocado, sweet potatoes, oranges and salmon. 
Get regular exercise. On top of eating a well-balanced diet, it's essential to get regular exercise. In recent studies, researchers reported that low to moderate exercise training can help reduce high blood pressure. How much exercise do you need? Most healthy adults should get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise each week. If you have high blood pressure, try to get at least 40 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity exercise 3 to 4 days per week. Lose weight. Gaining weight increases your risk of hypertension. For overweight people, losing weight has been shown to decrease blood pressure for up to 10 millimeters. Reduce your alcohol intake. Alcohol intake has a direct relationship with blood pressure. Encouraging moderate alcohol intake is important. While a glass of red wine may offer some health benefits, moderation isn't just for hard liquor. Regular and heavy intakes of any alcohol can increase blood pressure dramatically. Stop smoking. Smoking can contribute or even cause a large number of cardiovascular diseases. Each cigarette that you smoke temporarily raises your blood pressure. While research hasn't yet proven that smoking has a long-term effect on blood pressure, there's a direct link between smoking and immediate hypertension. It's also thought that smoking could have a detrimental effect on central blood pressure, which can result in organ damage. Smoking also leads to inflammation, which plays a role in the long-term damage to blood vessels. Get enough vitamin C and vitamin D. According to scientists from Johns Hopkins University of Medical, high doses of vitamin C, an average of 500 mg per day, may reduce small reductions of blood pressure. Vitamin C may act as a diuretic, removing excess fluid from your body. This may help lower the pre pressure within your blood vessels. Vitamin D is also essential to your overall health. Vitamin D deficiency may raise your risk of hypertension. It's possible that taking vitamin D supplements might help lower your blood pressure by interacting with a variety of systems in your body. Reduce stress. Reducing stress from your overall health can directly impact hypertension. High levels of stress sustained over long periods of time can have negative effect on your hypertension and overall health.
Meditation is also thought to help relieve stress or anxiety, even if you can only meditate a few times a day. Deep breathing exercises, whether combined with meditation or used alone, can also be effective as they reduce the heart rate and forcibly lower blood pressure. Connect with your healthcare provider. Healthy blood pressure levels are important for lowering your chances of developing heart disease. Get your blood pressure checked regularly. If you are diagnosed with hypertension, follow your doctor's recommendation to lower your blood pressure. They may prescribe treatment strategies such as medication, supplements, and change to your diet or exercise routine. Thirteen foods that lower your blood pressure. Number one, leafy greens, which are high in potassium. Romaine lettuce, arugula, kale, turnip, red beets, skim milk, yogurt. Oatmeal, bananas, salmon, seeds, garlic and herbs, dark chocolate, pistachios, olive oil, and pomegranate. I hope this video has helped you learn some new information. There are a whole bunch of people that really need this information, so please share it with your friends and family. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.